Okay, go over there and I'll tell you what to get. No, sit it right here, sit it right here. I'll tell you what spices to get out. We're making my famous, wonderful cookies. Baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon and salt. Seasoned salt, celery salt, poultry salt, chicken Do you remember seasoning. what you're looking for? Nope. <laughs> raisins and craisins, they gotta be in here. Did you get the walnuts? You didn't ask for walnuts. Well, I saw I, the walnuts. Walnuts. She wants, everything has to be specific and precise. To this line right there is a cup and a half. Oh, so that's a lot. It. It's a, a German and a Sicilian together aren't exactly what you would think of as the ideal thing. My great grandparents came to this country, they, they can avoid this kind of work for their children. I'm third generation. Are you gonna eat these cookies? You said I could only have one. I married her because she was one of the classiest girls I ever met. Just the opposite of me. Don't, don't handle it. Don't, why? Because it's disgusting. <laughs> Sometimes Italians like to take the other side of the argument, whether or not they believe in it or not, just to keep the conversation going. I hung around mostly with the kids that lived on West 8th Street. This is West 9th Street. This originally was my grandmother's house. My grandmother was from Sicily. She came over on the boat when she was 15. Okay, let's go meet my mother. My mother is, uh, what did we say, 88 years old? And uh, she was born in this country, uh, and she locked us out. This is my mother, Rose. Oh, hi, <laughs> He was the first boy to be born in our family. My father and my mother were so proud. The first grandson, they called him the king. You've heard of King of Queens, I'm King of Brooklyn. We are just minutes away from having cookies. My wife came from a big family, and uh, we raised children differently. She wanted rules for the kids, and I just wanted to tell them a story about what happened to me and how it worked. It didn't work, and let them make their own decision. There was a period of time when I had gotten back from Vietnam where I started getting a little nervous about what I was going to do with the rest of my life. There was a lot of drugs in Vietnam, and I was very much involved in that stuff. I started worrying about, you know, who am I? What am I going to do? I knew that if I had some kind of um, guideline, some type of purpose, uh, some direction, that I'd be really good at it. The military always provides you with a Gideon Bible. I started reading about this guy named Jesus, who I wasn't really familiar with. And I thought he was a cool dude, and he was kind of like, um, a protester, and Jesus made change without guns, without fighting. That impressed me. No, I'm not God, so I don't understand his love, but I have the faith that he, he has an undying love for us, and it keeps me going, knowing that if I get up in the morning and I commit the same bad thing, that he's still gonna say, I'll give you another shot. And he's filled with second chances. I really believe that people can change. It's a core principle of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My name is Frank Mansueto. I'm a Sicilian American born in Brooklyn, and I'm proud of being a Brooklynite. And that's the correct terminology. Brooklynite from Coney Island, Benson Hoist. I am a fisherman. I am a grandfather. Pops, they call me. I am a husband, and I am a Mormon. Forget about it. <laughs> uh, that's it. Cut! Cut!